Hi, this is the Film Experience. I'm Jim, and welcome to my darkroom. This is going to be a short video to look at subject of clip testing fixer and replenishing. I keep hearing about film photographers who throw away their fixer after each use. That makes me cringe because fixer, used fixer is not good for the environment, and it should be disposed of as hazardous waste. Uh, in addition, it's really not necessary. Many fixers can last for years. We just need to test our working strength fixer periodically. And when it gets weak, we replenish it by adding a small amount of fresh fixer. Now, this may vary from one fixer to another. Some fixers can't be replenished, but many can. So I'm just about to develop some film, and I thought I'd invite you here into the darkroom to show you how I do a clip test to verify the strength of my fixer. And then I'll also explain how we bring the fixer back to full strength when the clip test shows that it's getting weak. So let's take a look at it. Um, with Ilford Rapid Fix, I fix my film for five minutes. So the first thing I do is I set a timer for one half the fixing time. So two minutes, 30 seconds. I've got a beaker with a, uh, a little bit of the clipped leader in it. And then something that uh, I can easily read through. So right now, if I put the film on there, you can't see anything through it. But when the uh, fixer clears the film, which is what we're timing, uh, I'll be able to read that. That becomes transparent. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I've got my, uh, my working strength fixer. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of the working strength fixer into the beaker and I'm going to start the timer. Okay, and we just watch this. See how long it takes for us to be able to see the letters through that film. This fixer has just recently been uh, replenished, so it should be fairly, fairly strong. And it's, yeah, it's coming through there. You can see that now. Almost a little bit of smokiness in the center there. Okay, so uh, that fixer has cleared, and uh, we're uh, uh, we're not even past the first minute. So uh, that fixer is plenty good for processing my next roll of film. So here's the film. Here's what the uh, clip looked like before fixing. And then here's what the clip looked like after fixing. So uh, it took a minute, in this case, for the film to go from here to completely transparent. So it took less than the, re the maximum two and a half minutes for the film to clear in the fixer. Therefore, I don't need to replenish my fixer. My fixer is plenty strong. If I find it takes longer than two and a half minutes to get to this stage, I replenish. So that is how you clip test your uh, fixer to determine if it needs to be replenished. Okay, so let's say I have clip tested my stock of my working strength fixer I've got, uh, I maintain half a liter of working strength fixer. So uh, I've, let's say I've clip tested it and it's taking two and a half minutes to clear. And I've decided that I need to replenish. So in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 50 mils. Of the old working strength fixer. I'm going to take that and that's going to get put into a container I have for expired fixer and that will get dealt with as uh, hazardous waste. Then I'm going to take my fresh fixer and I'm going to mix it up at a ratio of uh, 1 to 4. So I'm going to mix up some fresh fixer, 50 mils of fresh fixer gets added into my working strength that makes this stronger now if I want I can go ahead and re-clip test this to confirm that it's less than two minutes 
clearing time. As a matter of fact, adding that uh, 50 mils of fresh fixer, uh, this will probably be clearing the film in less than a minute. So that is how I replenish. Now I should add this is for Ilford Rapid Fixer and the instructions I've just given you are specified in the documentation from Ilford for this fixer. If you're using a different type of fixer, you need to look at the documentation for that, find out if that fixer even allows for replenishment, and uh, what the manufacturer's requirements are. So don't throw away your fixer. It's going to last a long time. Just keep reusing it by replenishing it periodically. Bottle of fixer, this one will easily last me several years before it has to be replaced. And that's a lot of film. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you've got any questions, any comments, love to hear them. Just use the, uh, uh, leave a comment below uh, or go to my website. Uh, link for that is also going to be found below. And as always, please like, subscribe, you're literally the only reason I do this. So as long as uh, I know people are interested, I'll continue to produce content.